So when do you implement evaluation strategies? Well, always. Developing an evaluation plan as part of the project proposal puts in place strategies to evaluate the success of your project from the beginning. From the initial implementation of your project, you can and should build in process monitoring strategies or formative evaluation. Formative evaluation can collect quantitative and qualitative data on the services and programs you will offer through your proposed project. Quantitative data can help you answer the question, how many and who? Examples of tools used to collect such data include sign-in sheets, registration lists, the number of brochures or informational materials disseminated. Qualitative data can help you understand participants' feelings with data collected through interviews and observations. Formative evaluation can identify areas of your program that need improvement. For example, Let's say your project held a series of Gardening 101 workshops for the Bay Mills community. After the first two workshops, your team reviewed the total number of participants, quantitative data, collected from sign-in sheets and learned that the total participation was less than you anticipated. You then also reviewed the post survey provided to the participants and noted more than one negative comment that the location of the workshop was not convenient to travel to. You can use this information gathered from this formative evaluation to make adjustments. Perhaps participation would increase from a simple change in location. Summative evaluation collects and analyzes data to assess the overall progress or success of your project. This usually takes place at the end of the project or on annual checkpoints. Summative evaluation collects data to see if you have met your goals. So for example, now let's say that one of the overall project goals of the Gardening 101 workshop series was to increase the number of home gardens in the Bay Mills community. At the beginning of the project, you sent out a survey to community members to gauge the number of homes that had personal gardens. Your survey results indicated 20% of homes had home gardens. After a year of your program, including the community workshops and gardening supports, you then send out another survey, a follow-up survey after a year of project activities. The survey is designed to identify the number of homes with personal gardens. The follow-up survey, or post-survey, showed that 30% of homes reported personal gardens, an increase of 10%. Analyzing this data shows that the project was successful in at least one of its project goals. Outcome monitoring and evaluation. Outcome monitoring is tracking what happened due to, the, due to the services or programs you instituted. In other words, outcome monitoring is simply tracking the changes that took place. Some simple ways to track these cha changes are through pre and post test, um, pre and post test or surveys. Outcome evaluation collects and compares data from groups who received an intervention, those who participated in your program or received your services. And groups who did not receive and groups who did not receive an intervention. The goal of outcome evaluation is to attribute the outcome to your intervention. So for example, are the outcomes directly related to your program? An example of how to measure this might be, or why you would measure this would be for project replication. Impact evaluation collects and analyzes uh, trends over a span of time. This is a big picture look at the long-term impact of your program across a population. You can see how these level of, levels of evaluation build upon one another. You begin with identifying a need and creating a program to address the need. Then you implement your, your program, targeting a group of people. You evaluate whether or not the program was implemented as intended and identify any barriers. Next, you track any changes that, you may, that may have resulted from your programming to assess whether you achieved your objectives and whether or not your program 
whether or not your program directly correlated to those identified changes. Lastly, you evaluate the long-term impact of your program or services.